All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're playing Yone top lane. Once again, the new patch. We're running into the worst matchup ever into Renekton. And for the roots, we got Little Tempo, we got Triumph, Alacrity, Last Sun, we got Overgrowth, and Bone Plane. So today, we're going to be playing with the Yone buffs. I'm uh, pretty excited for that. The mid game of Yone is so much better now. Like the crit change, the crit buff on the, on the Q is just straight up fantastic. I'm going to showcase to you this game. Unfortunately, matchup is the worst of the worst. You don't want to run into a Renekton. It is a straight up terrible matchup. But if we play smart, I think we're going to be all right. We'll see. Okay, I'll walk away from this one. So there's there's two ways how you can beat Renekton. Uh, level one, if you get a push into Renekton into level two first, you should be able to all in him straight up but that's like only if renekton actually makes that mistake uh, this renekton is taking the push already he's quite confident so what we're gonna do is we will fully focus on uh waiting for the wave to stack up in my favor and then we will try and trade him uh he also has teleport i have ignite so in theory like uh talking about 1v1 we should be able to have an advantage we'll see also one more thing that i would like to note i'd like to ask you guys this question i don't know man since the new patch there's a i feel like there's a bug with yone yasu where every time i hit my q my fps drops i've got the latest pc gear so this is quite a joke right now this is not my pc by the way why is it that every time I press Q, I get an FPS, like, drop? A very obvious one, and then it goes back to where it is. That's weird. It's not quite visible, but it, I just feel the lag, man. It's like my screen stops for, like, a tiny second. It's weird. It's kind of distracting. But, we'll ignore it. That's Ivern fighting the Lilia. Well, the wave is like still pushing into me, so we have to make a tough choice here. Okay. Just gonna go for that move. This is where things get a bit scary. Because I'm also gonna lose farm at the same time. Walk away from it. Nice. I'm gonna focus on Renekton. Renekton is top priority for me. If I beat up the Flatty Mirror and Renekton were to live, that would mess up my lane. But if I kill Renekton, I'll have a chance to like push this out, being able to reset the lane now. This is more valuable for me. I love that teleport, because Vladimir is up here currently. I would have straight up teleported mid if I were him. Okay, and we got it. Cool. He's gonna freeze the wave. Okay. We cannot reset as I hoped for. It's not possible uh, because he's looking to freeze and I refuse to lose this farm. The, the only reason why I'm staying is because he's already quite low, which makes it playable for me. Check. Okay, do so. Let's place a war down. I need to figure out a way to reset and not lose anything. Because I currently have 1.4k gold, right? If I were to reset now, I'm going to come back really strong. But, um... Again... Check, I think I can get an all in off right here. That was a delayed ultimate. Thank you, Riot Games. Love that. <laughs> I'll explain that in a bit. Nice. There's this really fun mechanic in League, and I'm sure that you guys have noticed this too sometimes, where if you hit your button in a 
very specific moment, and I'm sure you guys have had this before, your champion is going to do it anyways. So let when you get CC'd, for example, by a champion, it doesn't matter who, and uh, you use your QR, for example, let's say you hit R, well, during the CC, at a certain point, it will delay the, the press, the button press, and then once the CC runs out, it's going to go off anyways. Even when you don't choose to use your ultimate, it will still go off. I've had this happen on Riffen so many times. Um, I've also had this happen on a few other champs, and it also includes Yone. It is annoying, bro. It is really annoying. Now I have to wait like an entire minute to get it back. It's okay though, I can uh, manage without my ult, for now. Uh, first things first, despite the buff that we had on Yone, we are still building Blade of the Rune King as a first item. Um, after we go for Blade, we'll then go into Shield Bow and then uh, Infinity Edge afterwards. That's when you will start noticing the, the change that happened to Yone. Okay, we're going to take some damage here. He's actually walking forward with it. Okay, I'll take this. Yeah, nice. I purposely walked backwards when he was trying to approach me to create more space. Um, also, being able to kite him more. So if I directly walked into Renekton, this would not be as clean as it should have been. But positioning matters there. Nice. I'm gonna choose to not stay around. If I stay, then I can't use the gold anymore. I have to reset here. We then buy my item. And then we come back stronger. And we don't lose anything. Let's go for these two. Alright. Uh, very quick question. Uh, how often do you stream? Just found you. And uh, you like the gameplay? I make two YouTube vids a day, and I also stream every day. That's pretty much it for the YouTube and for my streams. Forget the past. Okay, let's uh, freeze this up here. The reason why is because we got Ivern on the top side the jungle camp, uh, which means that if I freeze this, I'm gonna ping for this. Uh, I think that we might actually get kill here, who knows? Because Renekton is forced to move forward right now to get the farm. So he will put himself in a very, very awkward position. I think he might be aware of the Ivern, by the way. Since the moment he's shown up, he walks away. Hmm. Yep, that's the fight. And that's it. Oh man, I really hope that Riot is gonna fix this bug. I'm super certain it's not my PC. I'm 100% certain it's not. I never had this issue before. I don't think you guys can feel that during the... I don't think you guys can feel that during the recording. I, I I don't think so. But the FPS kind of drop for like a millisecond is very annoying. Is just weird. Uh, let's go for the life steal. Pretty good. Uh, next thing we're gonna sell this and we start building into a longsword. Yeah, you guys you guys don't probably notice that during the recording the vid because uh, uh, the YouTube vids are in Anything 60 FPS and my FPS is 240 well technically it's, it's 239 if you look at it but it's probably too high to notice it you guys saying now that you guys are experiencing the same thing okay yeah that confirms it <laughs> Renekton is abandoning the lane now. 
He's losing lane, so let's go mid lane instead. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll take the plates. Very good. Oh, they're lane swapping now? Wait a second. They do? This is a super winnable matchup for me, especially now because I'm 3 and 0 already. I'm too strong for Flandimir. This guy can't do anything. I'm walking away from the Q if, if, uh, if he tries to hit it, of course. I'm just going to go in immediately. My stats are better. Simple as that. Wait. Was this E on cooldown? Huh. I'm pretty sure that his E was not on cooldown, right? Well, I was waiting for a specific ability. Okay. The tower is pretty much ours. Lilia is walking back to mid, so there's no worry about junglers here. Oh. Wait a second. He's gonna charge in directly. Is that Vladimir inting or... What? Is that Vladimir inting on purpose or... I don't know what that was. He just walked immediately into me again. Kind of looks like he's uh, inting or something. I don't know. It's the impression I get. Not surprised because Renekton is just stealing the lane. <laughs> Renekton is just losing top lane and so they lane swap. Okay. Here. Oh yeah, I figured out he was going to do this. Hold up, I got my jungler here. Yeah, okay, very good. Let's go back. Uh, we're gonna buy the blades and then we start building uh, shield bow immediately. Nice. Renekton is now lane swapping to all lanes. He's apparently trolling his whole team. Okay. So he uh, Renekton is losing top lane, so Renekton's gonna go mid lane. So Renekton is gonna lose mid lane, so Renekton's gonna go bot lane. This guy is actually walking to all lanes to lose all lanes at once. What a guy, bro. And now, now their AD carry is mid lane. Who is dominating bot lane, and now even AD carry starts losing because of him. <laughs> oh, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm losing lane, so let's make all lanes lose. Yep, there's the surrender. All right, guys, welcome back. Part two. This time we're playing Yone top lane into a matchup that I've, I haven't seen for a long time. We are running into a Cho'Gath. Uh, for runes, we got the same stuff. I haven't changed anything, although I think I, I think cutdown would have been great here, but uh, we got last on, which is okay. Now this matchup is straight up like fantastic, straight up super winnable. I, without a doubt, I am not gonna lose this matchup. I don't think so. This matchup is very good for me. And I'll showcase you why that is, of course. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Okay, we're starting off terrible here. I'll try and recover from it. Slightly too much overconfidence. That's the shield. Nice. So, Cho matchup. You can do whatever you want. You can let him push early on. You can also push into him. It kind of depends on your jungler, enemy jungler, all that stuff. 
Shell has a uh, a lot of trouble on Tioni early on. It's also incredibly easy for us to dodge Q uh, with her own E if needed. Ooh. Love how aggressive this guy plays. Alright. We've got that push that I wanted so bad. Uh, let's go first reset here. Kind of depends though. If he is going to stay around right now, I might consider also staying around. Nah, I'm not. Okay, let me showcase to you why I'm actually resetting and why it's slightly better. So, Cho'Gath has a lot of wave clear, but I don't think that Cho is going to shove this out because he thinks that I'm staying around for it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just buy my attack speed. I'll bring a potion with me. And as this wave is going to push into my direction, I'm going to try and grab a kill on him. If that doesn't work, then, we've, we'll, then we will force out the teleport from Cho. Now, one thing to uh, to notice here, this guy is running Ignite and TP. He does not actually have Flash. So, one mistake, all right? And this guy will go down, no doubt. Uh, we got Ivern around top lane. I don't think this guy even has any wards, so I'm just going to wait for Jungler to appear. Dodging the Q. He didn't expect my all in like this. Nice. Okay, now here comes the most uh, valuable thing, okay? I'm gonna tell my jungle to wait. I'm gonna let the wave push in my direction, like this. And I'm gonna let Cho teleport. Okay, there you go. We've got him into a really good position. I'm gonna ping. Okay, my jungle is already very low, a little, a little too low. Place a ward down so I can see the upcoming Q here. He did lose like a fair amount of gold XP when he died. Um, but he does now actually have like more items than me, so he's stronger. So let's let the wave get on our tower for now. Yep, expected that to happen. Nice. Of course we lose that. Okay, this is a very valuable moment. I'm gonna see if I can take like a slow push right here. Hopefully dodge the abilities. And then hit my Q, but that's okay. There's a jungler here. It's two versus two. I don't think I can move, so I'm just gonna keep up the push so I, I can actually get my level six faster. I'm about to hit my level 6, come on. I need to get my level up. Nice. Outplayed. This is how important it is, guys. To look at your XP bar, okay? You need to know when you hit level 6. Then you can make plays like this. I knew I was going to hit my level 6 after the next one. And this allowed me to make a play. Allowed me to turn on the jungle. And get him down. Nice. So open your eyes, put it on your XP bar, see like how much more you need before you level up. It'll make a big difference. Uh, let's go for recurve bow. I'm going to be going for a pickaxe longsword. So what I'm going to do is I will not buy Berserker's Greaves. I will ignore this item for now. I'm going to try and buy this item as fast as I can. The faster I buy this item, the faster I will win. Because this item will counter Cho. Uh, no matter how tanky he gets, uh, Blade will always beat him. So if I don't buy Berserker's Greaves, I will win faster. I will outskill faster. So we have less attack speed than we usually do, because usually we go for Berserker's Greaves. But... I'm okay with it. Wait. Okay. And two stuff. Yep. We're gonna push this out straight up. We 
Very good. And we almost have my item. I just need to get 400 gold more. So I'm going to try and get some plates here. I'm, of course, not going to backboard now. Let's force the wave here. Ooh, nice one. I should have queued the, the wave here for a second. I think he's probably aware of what I'm about to do. I might try and bait. And I'm going to ping for my jungler. Hey, what's this thing doing here? Hey, did I really miss that? Come on, you can't be serious. Oh. <laughs> I'm uh, missing a lot of kills here. <laughs> okay. Last rotation from them. Not bad. Okay, we officially have my core item. Now I just need to buy uh, Berserk Sweeps. Fortunately, I can't buy even one component yet, but that's all right. He's getting plates, but I don't really care if he's actually uh, getting the plates. I don't really care about Cho'Geth in general. I don't care if Joe gets going to be fed or not. It will make no difference for me. Is impossible. Let's uh, push this out. Okay. Next wave will also arrive. So we're going to be too late. Joe gets will come back under tower. You got what we were looking for. Whoops. Oh, I've got my item now, so it's a pretty big difference. Now I just need to obtain the Berserkus Greaves, and that's it. Alright, I'm gonna hide in the bush here. There's a, a good chance that Cho is gonna move forward because he thinks that I'm resetting, but I'm not. Oh, it's not pressing Q. Oh, wow. Okay. Dude. I can dive him under tower. I'll keep this one standing so I can obtain the stack here. An ally has been slain. No rest. Might just... Oh, there's a teleport? Okay. I need one more wave and then I'm happy. It looks like it's going to be a, a pretty uh, fun game, don't you think? Oh, I'm getting ganked. At the very least, I would have been happy if I could buy my item, but I need to wait like 70 gold, unfortunately. Well, oh, there goes my plates. I think I have to sell my Dorn's Blade, which I don't want to do. Because I have to wait 25 gold. Can't afford to wait that long. Let's go. I can't afford to wait like five more seconds for the after run right now. The more, the longer I wait, the more farm I lose. Humans lie. Swords speak truth. Okay, let's push this out. I don't think that's uh, gonna be a pike here again. He's rotating a lot, but. There we go. Let's get the tower down. Of 
pretty good. Let's pick this up too. I think that show is gonna. Oh. Oh, really? That didn't work. Yeah, that's one. You gank my lane, this is what happens. Appreciate it. Let's pick this up once more. How many uh, ganks will happen today? Come in with like two billion gangs. <laughs> the last auto is a plate. I got lucky. You know, you see, like that's like the the downside of like ganking me. If you gank me, you give me more opportunities to uh, you know secure more kills. So, all right. I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, man. I, just, I get to 1v9 harder if they all gank my lane. If I make one good play. There you go. Let's go for the shield bone and pickaxe. Maybe next time they can send off like five people top lane so I can kill all five of them. Sounds like a plan, right? They'll just have to send off people to me. I'll charge my Q here. And second. Nice. Solid. This uh, Cho'Gav will certainly have a problem now. Oh, I was not supposed to miss this one. Still got him at the end. Just uh, to make sure that nothing bad happens, I'm just charging my Q up here. Shut down. Got it. Let's pick up the wave too. I'm also considering... Oh, there's a person here. I can see like a, an ability going off. Huh? Oh, never mind. I definitely saw something. Back to mid. Take the farm here. Yeah. Back top lane again. This could be a bait. Yeah. It certainly is. And there's also probably another guy here. Two people, in fact. Uh, both Velkos and Sinjar are here. Got my ult ready. Oh, he's going into this. I wonder if Zed's going to get him. No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go back here. Got no choice. Oh, there's um, apparently vision. Those are a lot of ultimates, by the way. Can 
quite reset yet. Let's see if we can grab something here. No. Doesn't seem playable for me. I have to I, I have to get back to full HP because at this current state they can burst me. There's vision. They know I'm here. It happens anyway. Okay. Uh, I've got all my deaths by Pike, unfortunately, this game. Uh, let's go for shield bow. That's not going to happen twice. I got my shield bow now. I hope I can go back top. Oh, Joe is getting the push. I uh, notice that every time I die, this Joe get will always, you know, always get to push top lane for free afterwards. And it's been, you know, putting Joe get back into the game because of it. Like he just consistently gets it over and over. Like he's still behind against me, but he is making a comeback right now, like a slight comeback. Okay, I will push this out. This is something I have to do. If they try and fight me, I should be able to fight them back now because I got shield bow. I'm a lot stronger than I was before the back port. Uh, Pike is not here. Uh, Falcos is mid, three people are missing. Which means there could be a lot of people. That's vision. Uh, let's see if I can save this. Never mind, I'm gonna go for blue. Since my strat didn't work. Yeah. At least he's not getting the blue buff anymore. That's fine right now. And perhaps what? We still got him at the end. That surprises me. It's only Falcos that's going up there. Which means that we can just... Now nah, we can't get tower. That's the point. We, we, we have to wait for a while to be able to obtain that. We could pu uh, push one more wave so it gets under tower. But I don't think that I can get the entire tower. I don't think so. Nope. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Maybe like this? Yeah. Awesome. So at the end, we still managed to get that tower down, which gives us like an insane value. Like the tier 2 tower gives you a lot of gold, by the way. Next thing we're gonna do. Dragon will spawn in 130. Okay. So that means... We will have a team fight, uh, you know, coming up. People will focus to try and obtain it. So I'm gonna take the red buff, and then we are instantly gonna go mid, so we can create some space for the for the Drake. Seems like the jungle is entering. Nice. Very good. In fact, that's Baron Call right there, because their jungler is dead right now. And we can speed run it because I'm uh, because I'm Yone. Perhaps I think we can get another fight done here. Maybe. Uh, Dragon will spawn in 15. We can buy Infinity Edge, but obviously I'm not going to reset just yet. 
uh, even though it's a big power spike. I have no E. Trying to see if I can charge this. Well, that silence is quite annoying. Sidestep the pike. Got him. Still haven't bought Infinity Edge. <laughs> My biggest power spike. <laughs> I love how the uh, ultimate brought that down. Beautiful. Love how that ultimate brought it down. Although I think that there's not much more we can do. Hope we can. Yeah. No, well, I'm gonna uh, grab this. Shouldn't be enough for Syndra. Ah, that's getting too much. Whoops. Yeah, it is time to get that reset. It is very much time for that. Well, actually, I, I want to try and buy like two items at the same time. That would be even better. Joe's up here. Choke can do anything. Cho Cho'Gath is pretending to be able to fight me, but there's no way in life that he can fight me. There's no way. Look, there's the... Uh, where's the other person? No more people. Okay. We have 4,334 gold. And it's time to reset so we can buy Infinity Edge and the Kraken Slayer. And Longsword. And... Really? I couldn't... I couldn't test out, like, the massive power spike from Infinity Edge. And also the Kraken Slayer. Come on, bro. Anyways, this was part two. You want any top things? Thanks for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.